And I really like those MX 90s, the Luna ones from a few years ago. I wonder if there's some sort of cheaper alternative. Well, there you go. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And uh, as you can see, we have changed the background. Um, it's supposed to be a flat sheet of like paper fabric, but because it's been folded for so long, it just kind of looks like the pillows you'd find in like a mental hospital. So I don't smash my head against the wall. Or maybe I am in a mental hospital, who knows? But we're back again to talk about another shoe. And actually going off the beaten path, we're not talking something Adidas or Nike. Today we actually have a Reebok shoe. Esos son Reebok o son Nike? Esos son Reebok o son Nike? So I can't give too much history about Reebok. It's something I don't really keep an eye on. All I know is uh, Adidas owns Reebok. So really in the end, I am still talking about Adidas in the end, but that's neither here or there. Uh, we'll just get into the shoes. So today we are talking about the Reebok Instapump Fury Road SG in the Moon Rock colorway. So with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So I don't own many Reebok products at all, so I'm not too sure what the standard is for these Reebok pump shoes, but I'm assuming this might be the standard pump shoe that shoe box that all the, sh the, the, the pump blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. So we've got Pump It Up written on the top. We've actually got Reebok Custom Rip, uh, Custom Fit, the pump. And then we just got a couple of other hits of branding here. And then sort of like a lockbox looking sort of design. Once we flip open the top, we've actually just got this standard paper with Reebok plastered all over it. And then the shoes were stuffed with uh, standard uh, packing paper inside the toe. Not very big. And uh, hanging off the right shoe, actually, you have this rubber sort of hang tag that says the pump. And then it actually has a small paragraph on the other side that says Reebok, introducing uh, the pump technology in 1989. Wow, it's really, it's really old stuff. It provides the ultimate, it, it provides the ultimate in a custom fit and support system. All right. Not sure if I believe that, but we'll go with what they're saying. And then we move to the label, it reads Instapump Fury Road SG. I'm not sure what the SG stands for, so if anyone knows, <clears throat> leave it in the comments down below. And uh, moving on to price. So I actually picked these up last year when I was traveling around Singapore. And uh, the retail price written on the box is 219, what I'm assuming is Singaporean dollars. I did not pay this. I actually picked this up at an outlet in Singapore and uh, I can't remember the exact figure, but in terms of Australian dollars, I think it converted to around 80 Australian dollars. We'll find the exact figure and put the conversion here. And for 80 Australian dollars, honestly, I think like this was a really unique uh, Instapump Road, uh, Instapump Fury that has come out over like the past few years. And for someone who's not actually a fan of the Instapump, I was surprised that this was sitting at the outlet, so I decided to pick it up. And with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. So here we are, the uh, Reebok Instapump Fury Road SG in the Moonrock colorway. So just to quickly touch on the, the most obvious thing that people might be assuming, this does look, this does seem like it's taken inspiration from the Air Max Lunar 90s, the moon landings from Nike from a, from a few years ago. I think these came out two years later. Kind of like a cheeky bite on Adidas's parts, you know, putting the lunar print on a shoe. But I'd say it's different enough that I don't think they could hit, be hit with any sort of lawsuits or anything. So the most defining feature of the Reebok Instapump Fury is the omission of the laces, actually. And instead, you've got this network of air chambers that sort of wrap around the entire forefoot of the shoe. And the way it works is that you've got the pump on the top, so you press down and it actually pushes air into the air chambers. And what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to fill in any sort of dead space around your foot. So when you slip the shoe on and you pump it up, 
it pretty much makes the shoe a much more snug fit. And then to release the air, you've actually got a release valve over here. So when the shoe's fully pumped up, I must say it does give off the sort of aesthetic of like a veiny arm or something like that. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but me being like the big man child that I am, I love decompressing the shoe. In fact, let me pull out the right shoe because I pumped it up and we're going to listen to it right now. Three, two, one. Amazing. So, the pump, um, I didn't actually know it was that old and it actually works pretty well, I would say. I'll talk a little bit more about its actual functionality later on. But the other striking feature, obviously, is this lunar print. And uh, unlike the Air Max model that had a monochromatic sort of print, we've actually got this sort of gradient going on where it fades from this sort of weird sort of purple, almost lavender brown kind of color. We go towards a white, a sort of seafoam green, and then we finish off with like black nylon at the toe. And yeah, that's pretty much the most defining features of this particular Reebok. So touching on the cushioning actually, we've got this standard sort of like foam, uh, EVA, phylon, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty stiff and uh, Actually, Reebok has got this sort of proprietary cushioning technology called Hexalite, which just kind of looks like this sort of slightly gel-like plastic arranged in a honeycomb configuration. And this is supposed to increase sort of uh, impact protection. Not sure if the camera will pick it up. It's really hard to notice. Um, it's kind of got like the cut of like an Air Max, but we'll touch on how it feels later in the video. Now, in terms of sizing, I found that the Instapump Fury Rhodes actually seem to fit a little bit small. I had a chance to try these on in a nine and a half, and I found that they fit a bit too short. My toe was actually touching the edge of the shoe. So with that in mind, I actually ended up buying these a half size up. So I bought these in a size US 10. And I would recommend for everyone else, I would say probably go up half a size. Now, in terms of comfort, Honestly, um, this is quite an old model, so the cushioning really is not there. This foam is extremely sort of old school tech. The insole really is nothing special. So, and the Hexalite really doesn't feel like anything. It's just something that kind of looks interesting. It looks like you have a beehive on your shoe. But other than that, it doesn't flex. It doesn't really work. Um, but I didn't expect it for a shoe like this. And then in terms of the upper, um, this nylon is a bit stiff, but it's really thin, so it doesn't get in the way too much. And actually pumping up the shoe, it actually provides quite a nice snug fit. I will say it does get a bit hot, um, just wearing it around the house because I've never worn these outside. Um, I did find they got a bit warm if you just had them on, so. I would just say it's a pretty mediocre feeling shoe. But now we get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions on this shoe. And I've never been one to be really drawn to the Insta Pump. I actually thought the original Insta Pump Furies look really disgusting with the separated sole and the sort of carbon fiber plate in the middle. I know it's kind of like an iconic look, but I just really hate the way that looks. But the Instapump Road, I actually quite like. I've seen like quite a few colorways that I found interesting, including like this multicolored camo one that I never picked up, but it looked really interesting. But when I saw these at the outlets, I was immediately drawn to them. I think it's just this lunar print is, I'm just a sucker for like interesting prints on shoes. So when I saw the lunar print, I was like absolutely sold on this and this sort of seafoam teal green color is really nice in my opinion. Um, I will say the styling of the shoe is a bit strange. Um, there's a reason why I haven't worn these out yet. I just really haven't found the opportunity to wear these. And it's not a subtle shoe at all. It just kind of sticks out. But overall, I would just say aesthetically, it's definitely strange. And you know me, I love the strange shoes. And uh, it's just one I like to keep around in the collection. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this uh, Reebok Instapump Fury Road. And of 
some of the Reeboks that are out there, um, what are some of your favorites that you've seen? I think I saw a Concepts Versace one or something like that. I'll find a photo of it and put it up. That one is loud and I really like it, but that's a rare case where Reebok actually sells for more than retail, which is something I'm not willing to spend. But I would just love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video. And now time for the on fee portion. Now I did pair these with Adidas pants, but remember Adidas owns Reebok, so there's no brand clashing here. I'm aware of this stuff. Don't at me.